Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to get better FPS with lower NPCs and body cam. So currently I am running a GTX 1080 and a Ryzen 5 3600. And you may say, oh, the 1080 is not that low end, but it is a card from 2016 slash 2017. So it is an old and outdated card by today's standards. So what you want to do to get the best FPS is turn on AMD FSR 3 FPS boost and set it to quality. because so it's going to look the best, but it's also going to run well. Now turn on AMD FSR 3 frame generation to on. I'm going to show you real quick what it's like with it off. Then I'm going to show you what it's like with it on. So off, I'm getting around 35, 36 FPS in this area here. And my GPU utilization is at 99%. So currently still getting 35, 36 FPS. Let's go ahead and go and turn that on now. Okay, turn that on. Now my frame rate is at 58 FPS. And oftentimes it does even get above 60. Now it's at 60. 58, 60, 61. And my GPU utilization is still high, but that's just the nature of this game. Now let's run a bit here. Still 58, 60 FPS. That's what you're looking for is that sweet 60 FPS. So now let's go into the rest of the settings and show you what else I have on here. I have global illumination set to low, and aliasing quality is set to high. Now the reason for that, if you set it lower, you'll get bad aliasing, and you get a bunch of jagginess when you move your uh, when you move your gun around. Here, I'll show you real quick. Maybe you can tell, but there's a bunch of jaggedness, especially when you move your gun around. It's all blurry and stuff. Let's see if I can get a better view of this. It kind of uh, let's do it with a pistol. I don't know if you can tell, but you can definitely tell when you're in game, it's all jagged. So I recommend setting that higher if possible, at least to high. Because you get less jaggedness when you're moving your gun around. It just also looks a lot more clear than it does with it off. And also just textures in general look better. If you can run it at high, I recommend running it at high. You had to set it lower, that's fine. You might just get a little bit of ja more jaggy textures. View distance on far because you want to be able to see people. Textures on medium because, I mean, that's fine. It still, you know, it runs well with it on medium. Shadows on low, don't really need it. Uh, effects on medium. Everything else pretty much on medium. Uh, sharpness off, motion blur off. You don't need motion blur whatsoever. Uh, for display, I have it on borderless because it says that it will allow you to um, what does it say here yeah the borderless window mode will allow you to use the highest resolution supported by your display which is 1440p for me I'm running this at 1440p currently uh, no I don't want to do that but yeah running it at 1440p a lot of people will probably run this at 1080p, which may even get better FPS than I'm getting right now. But if you run it at a higher resolution, uh, more of the strain gets put on the GPU rather than the CPU. So I try to run games at 1440p most of the time. And you still get a little bit of the jaggy textures here and there, but using that AMD FSR upscaling. So, uh, but ultimately it does, wait, what, what happened here? Ultimately, it does look and run pretty well with uh, the settings that I have chosen here. Running around real quick here. 60 FPS still. Now, one of the other maps, I'm going to show you real quick here. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the main menu because I'm hosting a game. But the other map, turn that off. This map here seems to be very heavily CPU and GPU intensive. So I'm going to show you what it's like there with AMD FSR uh, frame boost on and off to show you. Right now I'm getting 78, 80 FPS. Without that on, I mean, <laughs> this map is 
one of the ones that's very intensive. I'm going to show you real quick right here what it's like if I don't have that on. Turn that off. Okay, so now I'm getting sub 40 FPS, especially when you go down here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I just died. Oh well. But yeah, this map is kind of intensive, uh, especially if I don't have AMD FSR on at all. I'll show you what that's like. It might even crash my game. Uh, let's see. Turn that to off. Now I'm getting uh, almost 30 FPS with no AMD FSR off completely. Is it playable? Yeah. But I'd rather get, you know, a higher frame rate. Especially when you're doing this body cam movement and stuff. You want to have a higher frame rate because, um, well, also, the other thing is you got to keep in mind, in a normal match, you're also playing with other people. So that also can lower your frame rate. When I didn't have AMD FSR on whatsoever in this area, I was playing with other people, and I was getting under 30 FPS oftentimes. So let's go ahead and turn on AMD FSR. Let's just do... This is turn it on first. Okay. So now we're getting 35, 36 FPS. But now let's turn the full thing on. I want to switch team. Back. Okay. Performance mode. Here we go. Now we're getting almost 60 FPS. Sometimes it is at 60 FPS. But this is preferably what you want in a shooter. Now you preferably want... You know, you preferably want the more... The higher the FPS, the better. Especially in a game where you move around like this. When the movement, you know, is like this. You don't want to have a lower FPS because it could give you, like, motion sickness. You know, you don't, you don't want... Uh, lower frame rate in something like this. You actually examine your gun? There's a button to examine your gun, but I don't think it works. <laughs> Man, it, ro it loads so fast. Oh, you have to load them in manually, one by one? Huh. But anyways, this is one of the other maps. Let me go to another map. I think there is another map that is kind of intensive. Let me just do a double check here. Host map. When you're in a game server, you're definitely going to notice it. Uh, this, ha this map is kind of intensive. So that one, we can test that out on this one too. Whee! I don't know why that's necessary at all, but okay. See how this one, I'm getting 51 FPS with all that turned on. Watch, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> Turn that off. Let's turn it all off. Let's go all off on this. Oh, look at that. That's unplay that's almost unplayable. 30. Ooh. I mean, it's not not great, is it? I mean, 30 is playable, but then we, and remember, when you're playing with other people, your frame rate's going to lower even more. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's just do quality first. Okay, so now... Still not boosted that much. 33? Let's go ahead and turn on the other one. Frame generation. You got to turn that on. 
She look. 55. And it looks pretty good too, honestly. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Now that's one annoying thing that this game does though. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Set your audio. Every time you launch the game, you have to set the gun audio. See how much more quiet it is now? Otherwise, it just blasts your eardrums out. Yeah, I could probably have it higher than that, but... I do like, I do like this game a lot. But yeah, that's probably it. You know, just for showing you the best settings that you can uh, get to make your game run better. Or quick, let's go on the, the roof. Let's go up there, because that's an intensive area up here, too. Because you're seeing the entire map. 53 FPS up here with this. So I, I'd say it runs pretty well. Wee. <laughs>